Hey guys, what's up? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So guys, this is Nuke Fundamentals Episode 1 where I'll teach you all about Nuke 12.1 new versions, shuffle node, in-depth knowledge. In fact, as well as I will teach you about the previous version shuffle node. So without wasting any time, let's get started. <laughs> So guys, right now we are in Nuke version 12.1, the most latest released version where they updated so many things. So shuffle node is one of them and today I'll teach you in depth knowledge of that. Okay, so if you notice there are RGB color bars like red, green, blue and let's take a shuffle node without wasting any time. So let's shuffle like this. So if you connect to the shuffle and connect to it like this, you can see by default the B pipe will connect. Okay, because the user interface actually made like this. So now make it bigger. Now if you notice, if those who guys familiar with new older version, they know the shuffle node is not look like this. It looks really weird, really confusing. There's so many boxes. Okay, but in this version, they made it really easy. The connections between red channel to green channel to blue channel, the, the, it's really amazing to learn to understand. So okay, so let me show you how you can deal with this. So first of all, you have to know about input and output okay so whatever doing in new like whatever you will do in new the main thing is there is an input pipe and there is an output pipe okay now see this is an input pipe and this is our output pipe so means like this color information is an in input it go to the shuffle node and the shuffle node information will go to this viewer node so that we can see this output this is the basic concept of nuke this is a pipe and b pipe so wherever do you are doing a pipe it's if it's an input then you have to take it as an input and if in b pipe it's an output then you should take that as a output okay so now see in the shuffle area there's a red channel there is green channel there's a blue channel and there's alpha channel and each and every one is called rgba if you notice the rgba means red green blue and alpha so it means in every channel you can change it to the alpha channel okay so first of all let me show you the basic content about this red green blue and this connection so first of all these are the nodes okay like this kind of nodes okay so if you want to change this color to green and green color to red you can do it so first of all as you all know like shuffle means what shuffle means like shuffling shuffling like swapping kind of thing so that's why they name it as a shuffle okay so now if you wish to red channel to be green channel so you can just simply switch it how so now see this is a red connect to this red now see this is red input see input layer and this is output layer okay so now in input layer the main connection is b because we have this b pipe okay and over there you can see lots of uh, detailing here so now we have rgba so that we have rgba and the output like rgba now the red channel uh, red channel input and red channel output to this green channel input green channel output to this green channel input uh, sorry blue channel input and output to this and alpha to this okay this is the basic stuff now if i want to the red channel to the green and green channel to be red how you can do this it's very simple just click this and connect to this channel to this green now see it's automatically being snapped see it's snapping then just release it now see the green channel is not right now not nowhere because we have no connection of green channel but we have red channel to this green red channel to this red one so we have red channel in both in green channel as well and the red channel as well so now if i change the green channel output input to this output to the a uh, red one so now what happened this green channel is right now changed to this red and red one changed to this green so what happened now right previously let's show you like this one my previous and this one my current now see all the red change it to green and green change it to red okay now in the same way you can switch it to the blue channel as well now if i want to this red channel to this blue channel just click and drag it like this so now what happened we have both channels like red channel is right now in green channel as well and red channel is now blue channel as well now let me show you in more details now when you press r on your keyboard for that red channel you can see these are my red channels now red channel is right now in green and blue so it means green and blue is visible but this one is completely black okay now if you want to change it to the green channel 
let's place green channel now see these are my green channel and these are my red channel where is less information that's why it's completely not white it's less white but it's almost being white okay now if you want to make this default in this newer version they made it one very interesting thing just click this box and drag it to here so it means all being default now what happened red to red green to green and blue to blue and simply when you press b again it will be normal now there are a few more options which is this option these all options are actually available in the previous version they made it really easy so don't think that they added so many extra things these are all same they just make this ui different to make yourself better okay so these are like complete black and this is complete white now if you want to this red channel is nowhere like blank you can simply make it disconnect that is the one point but if you want to make this complete black complete zero then just click here so that what happened it will be complete zero in a first way okay no need to disconnect or connect like this but if you want to this red channel to the entire image like full white no only this much area is right now red but if you want the red channel to be the entire image so just click this option it means completely white or complete red now if you disconnect all this you can see only red is visible similar way you can turn on this green channel right now green and red when merge the yellow will come as you all know from our childhood that red and green merge yellow will come now when you click the green you can see this is white because rgb alpha yes so when you merge rgb it will become white it means alpha now when you turn on alpha there is nothing but you can use this one as your alpha so simply you can connect to the alpha to anyone so that right now in this alpha channel you can see this is the way okay now when you click here it will be complete black like no informations because we have nothing connection now if you want to this red channel to this blue channel only you can connect it right now what happened the red channel is right now blue channel so complete blue is visible because there is no other channels okay now make it more easy more familiar let's connect to this b pipe to this one so that you can understand so let's make it default like this one okay now it will help you to understand more better now see if i change this red color to this green see it will change and green color to this red it will change again now this one was my red channel and now let's see this this is my previous one this one's my current one okay now both are changed now if you want to be a alpha channel now if you want to this red channels being a alpha channel how you can create that because when you press a there is no alpha channel right now the simple way is you want to this red channel to the alpha channel okay so just make it default first okay now this is my default okay now connect it to this now i want a alpha channel which is our red channel based now whatever is red is there you want that in our, your alpha channel because you want to mask or something like that so just click here and drag it to this alpha channel okay now see automatically it's disconnected because right now what happened wherever the information is in this image or in, the, in your input for red channel it will completely shift it to your alpha channel as well now when you press a you can see the red complete red are right now visible as your alpha in fact wherever the less information of red informations is right now also visible in alpha channel because there is less informations that's why it's visible because as you all know in the red green blue channel we have separate separate red channels informations green channel informations and blue channel informations as well so each and every channel we have all other two channels informations stored okay now same way if you want to this green channel to the alpha channel just connect it like this now see wherever the green is there now these are my greens full green so that's why it's completely in alpha but in, in here also you have green informations so that's why these are also came as your uh, like small detailed green informations okay now if you want same thing in a blue channel see these are my blue channels so right now in this way you can get your alpha channel from any of color informations like red green or blue okay i hope you already get to know is all about this now make it default again now the next step okay which may be make you confused but don't mean confused very easy so first of all connect to this b pipe to this one okay and you have another pipe which is a1 to this okay now we have both input like a and b but you can see we can't see the a and b we can see only the b pipe the reason is inside of this input layer we are selected as the in pipe to this b okay so let's make it a and in this in pipe b to so let's make it b okay so now what happened the a pipe is right now this one and the b pipe is right now here but still we can't see this so from here 
in pipe let's make it to rgba and from here also rgba cool right now if you want to add this informations on this like you, if you want to swap or merge this together like i want this informations red channel to this image so just simply select this information red and connect to this one so what happened like this one or any of this okay now make it to the alpha channel or make it to the green channel or red channel just connect and release it to like here now you can see this one as well now if you connect to this it will automatically disconnect it okay so now you can see that this red channel is right now merged with this okay now if you want to make the complete shuffle you can do it in the really easiest way because in newer version they made it really amazing things just select this and drag it to the corner see it will automatically being connect and drag it to here so now all this merge happening see and when you make it default just make it drag and like this drag and like this so it's being default in fact when you merge like very easy way like select and make it like this so it means it this input going to this output this input going to this output okay this is not a uh, make any sense but i just showing you that how it's exactly work okay let's make it default okay now there is one other way so just release this b pipe we want only the red pipe so now make it none now we have this one okay now what happened if you have nothing selected right you have nothing selected but you want to this blue channel to all other channels how you can do that you can select click click click, click like this but there's all shortcuts is there press alt on your keyboard and click and release it now see it's being snapped okay now all what happened all the blue channels is right now in red channel output green channel output and blue channel as well and alpha as well so when you press alpha this is completely same like full informations in all the channels so right now blue informations is right now in a red informations output green information output and blue information output as well in fact the same way you can do it the green channel as well now only the green channel is changed same thing for the red one as well now all the thing is the red now right now so that when you press alpha alpha is also being same okay so these are the things now uh the shuffle node is also using for multipass compositing like multi-layered compositing purpose so i have this one this one is my uh footage where it's downloaded sorry it's a uh, this one is my footage where I rendered from uh, Maya and this is the EXR file when you press layer contact sheet you can see all the layers here now make it turn on show names now we have this RGBA diffuse like beauty pass diffuse filter global illumination reflection refraction but you can use by using shuffle you can make it really easy now take a shuffle node like a shuffle and from here you can change it from anything like see there's a v-ray background when you click v-ray background there's the only background is visible if you want to change it v-ray diffuse filter only diffuse filter is visible now when you press alpha there is no alpha right but how you can make this as an alpha there's a very easy way so if you want to this like disconnect all this now i want all the information in red channel it will go to the alpha channel simply alt drag and drop now see you get your alpha from your red channel if you want to get your alpha from green channel simple way green channel but all the times you are getting same informations because whenever you are doing it will being go to the all channel so it means this is your alpha okay so in this way you can customize all of your things and after that why you are using this let me show you first make it default now you have this diffuse filter uh, let's make it to the let's make it what uh, reflections so we have reflections here let's take a merge okay let's uh, make it to the b uh, let, sorry let's make it the a and take this image and let's make it to the b and press one okay now we have this reflection top of this and the basic stuff is for the multipass compositing and why you are using this shuffle let me show you take it a grade node and after that connect to this and if you want any kind of changes from here let's make it like red now see only the reflection parts are visible so this one is actually help you to make a separate separate changes for your particular pass like reflection if you want any changes for reflection you can do it if you want any reflections changes for the specific part you can do it by taking your alpha or something like that now multiplications like this and white point see black point you can exactly change it so this is the way and now go to this new previous version and let me show you a small part that how you can use it for the previous version because those who guys don't have the newer version you can use it so let's take a color bar like this color bar and take a shuffle node shuffle node and see this is my previous versions okay so how it's work now see this is also being same there are so many ticks so let me show you this is a r input 
and this is our output this is green input green output this is blue input blue output this is alpha input alpha output now this is the full black now if you want full black to the red should be nothing information click it here now no red is visible here if you want full red so make it red so now full information is for red okay now when you if you want to change this red value to this green value now see this is red information so go to this one okay now if you want to the red to be this so click here now see green and select it now all the channels are being swapped see this is cool right now this red information is right now to the green output so it's being swapped to each other now if you want all the things in alpha channel let's make it like this so all the things are right now in alpha channel uh, let's make it uh, default like this so these are the way and this one is our second input as I teached you on my that way like input a and input B now see this is exactly look like same I suggest you can use the newer version because that's a more easy most effective you can understand it very clearly it's just simply connect drag and drop like kind of thing so this is it for first time nuke fundamental episode one and if you really love my this kind of videos for a particular specific node based detail information then let comment down below that if you want more tutorials like this in fact i'll be coming with more fundamentals videos episode two three four five like this where well i'll i'll describe about shuffle copy or something like ibk color correction like this kind of specific node in detail depth knowledge okay guys i get so many comments from you guys that you are already loving my tutorial style of teaching so that's why thank you very very much for uh, giving me so much love and support and in future as well I will give you so much good contents like this and very soon you will be crossing 10k subscribers on YouTube so if you're still not subscribed to our channel just go and subscribe and share as much as you can and if you still not follow us on our social media handles like Facebook LinkedIn Instagram Twitter handle link all is in description and in front of the screen so just go and follow us over there i will see in my next video till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking vfx world